Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to debug the Logic App workflow in the Visual Studio Code. For the demonstration, I have the simplest HTTP trigger type workflow, which is returning a success response with the same request body as in data, which you are passing to this HTTP request workflow. Now, I'll show you how to put a breakpoint and monitor your workflow progress in your Visual Studio Code the way you do it with any other programming language like C Sharp, Java, Python, or any other language. To enable the debugging, first of all, you need to make sure that when you run your Logic App workflow, it downloads or enable the debug symbols at the beginning. What do I mean by that? I'll show you with a quick run. If I run my workflow with the start debugging, the very first thing it is going to do is going to load the debug symbol. As you can see here, it's trying to load the Azure Microsoft.Azure workflow.build task dot debug symbol generator. So it's generating the debug symbol and debug symbols are generated and finally my azure function host has started on the custom port which i have defined here which is 7075 if you have any question how to start or uh, run the logic app workflow on a custom port please watch my other videos which i have created in this playlist now my logic app workflow is successfully started on the 707 port i can simply create and run the logic app workflow in the postman as this is a http trigger type i'll show you a quick demonstration so this is the http workflow which i'm running from the postman which is currently hosted on localhost 707 port uh, 75 port if i simply run this uh, this will take this json and it will run and return the result let me simply run this and i'll show you the result as you can see that it's returning success equal to true data is the data which I pass on. And this is absolutely fine. Now the question is, how do I debug any of these steps which I may want to debug it, for example. For this, you need to put a breakpoint on your workflow. Now you cannot put a breakpoint as of now on these visual element of your workflow to put a breakpoint on your workflow first of all you need to open the json element of your workflow and then within the json element you can put a breakpoint at the start or at the beginning of your workflow step let's say for example this is my compose step in my workflow where i'm constructing the response as in success and the data which is the trigger body of my HTTP response or the request type. So I can put a breakpoint here and I can evaluate what information I'm getting it. Similarly, I can also put a breakpoint on the final response which I'm sending it back to the caller. So I can put a breakpoint like here. As you can see that by mistakenly when I put a breakpoint here on line number 26, it's not possible because you can put a breakpoint on the individual component, not on the overall actions element. So that's not possible. Now, the breakpoint is there. As you can see, it's running. I do not need to rerun again. If you want, you can rerun again. Let's see if I run this workflow now from the postman, what happens? Now, if I go back to the debugger symbol, you can you would find that I have certain number of debug element which has been loaded. Let me rerun again. And this time when I click send, you can see that I am getting a pop-up on the Visual Studio code indicating that there is a breakpoint which is waiting on the load. And as soon as the breakpoint hits, I get a local variable section loaded here in the run and debug mode. I can go to the context, I can evaluate what is there in that context at the given point of time when the breakpoint hits. I can simply expand any of these. If I expand this, you will see that what are the result type and what are the different elements, variables which you might have defined 
at that point of time. Let me see what is the action result contains. This is just a context of your logic app which you may want to use for your programming. So now if I look at this action result type which is an object type which is this one and here you can get the information like does it contains any error of what was the end time start time what was the input object what is the output object for example if i look at the input so these are my static result as an input key value pair so success is equal to true and the data which i'm sending as an data uh, if you look at the value of the data you will find all the values which i'm passing for example the first name the value of the first name let me just make it a little bit slighter bigger so these are my values which I am passing from the postman, first name, last name, age and address, right? And similarly compose output, I will see that what would be the output is going. So this way I can fully utilize debug it at the runtime and, and go to the next step, of course, from these options. So these are the options if I would like to step into the next step. So I'll click here, it will go to the next step, it will load all my variables uh, in the next step and I have this next step because I just have two steps so next step I also put a breakpoint which is again nothing just the response which I'm returning so this is the response type if you look at the input object of the response type and also the output object of the response type uh, let's look at the input dynamic result this is a key value pair status course is 200 what this is what we are passing and then the body which is a body of your object which you are you have included from the previous step which contains the data here success equal to true and the same data because we are using the output of composing the body so this is how you can debug it now the other good thing here is let's say if you change if you make a change let's me just simply run this and let's see the response back to our postman you can see that I got the response back in the postman. Uh, nothing is running here at the moment. Now, the other good thing is here is if I go to the workflow, if I wanted to make any changes to this particular section, let's say I'll go to the postman uh, and go to my Visual Studio code. I would like to include uh, two more properties, status code, error code, and all those things. So what I'll do is I'll make changes to this particular workflow section. And this is what I have added as in response type. Remember that I have not stopped my workflow. It's still running and still it has a debug mode enabled. Now I've, I'll save this. This is going to save or even without saving, it will work fine. Now again, I'm going to run this and this time I can simply pass another property. For example, now let's say, and I'll pass the command spell. So let's say I hit this, I got the breakpoint. And this time, I, if I look at the input and output result, I would have the additional object. And you can see that I got the changes which I modified, for example, status course 200, error null, error code zero. So immediately, I do not need to make any changes. I do not need to restart my logic app. I can immediately, while developing it, I can simply debug it. I can change it in my input parameter. I can change the workflow design and I can immediately test and verify whether what kind of output I'm getting it. If you look at again, uh, this time we have got different, uh, these many different workflows, key value pairs, right? Uh, let me simply run this. Again, it's going to wait for another breakpoint. Let's run this. And you can see that this time we got a response with the error code and error message, null, 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 because there is no error. It succeeded successfully. This is very, very cool feature. As a developer, I don't need to wait on redeploying, changing, making any other changes. I can simply put a breakpoint on local, run my workflow and simply verify what's going on and how my input and output respective output looks like it within my local workstation. I hope you have found this useful and you would start using this debug and workflow features in the Visual Studio Code with your logic app workflows. Thanks for watching it. Thanks for watching it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video.